All right, so we're going to continue the reassembly of the N54. We are going to start with the installation of the oil pump assembly. Um, the oil pump has been disassembly, disassembled, clean, inspected, checked. Uh, if you guys want to see a video of how I typically do one of these N54, N55 oil pump, I'll put a link up above. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Let's get this oil pump on. All right, welcome back uh, to the N54 build, uh, serial number 6759. So we're gonna continue with the build. We're gonna go ahead and um, inject the Loctite sealant into the bed plate. So I'm gonna install the new valves and I'm gonna inject the sealant. I'm not gonna go through a specific one of this, but I'm gonna you guys want to see how this is done it's the same process on the n55 and the n54 i'm going to go ahead and link a video up above on our n55 uh, this is how we've uh this is how it's done and this is how it's going to be done on this engine okay all right you guys leave a comment post anything let me know if you have any questions all right so let's continue with the remaining build okay All right, so we've uh, we've injected the sealant on one side of the bed plate, and if you guys can see here, see. Sealant coming out right there. Okay, that's under. That is on the left side of the engine, in the front, and then the back. It's a little difficult to see here, but should be able to see. See right there? Yep, that's coming out right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the other side.
All right, so we've uh, gone ahead and inject the sealant on the right side of the block. Here, that's all injected clean. As we can see here, you can see up there, so you got a light here. Okay, here we go. You can see the uh, sealants coming out right there. Okay, that's all good to go. On the back side, you can see we've definitely sealants coming out there. Okay, all right, that's the bed plates all sealed. Let's continue. Hey, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, we're going to continue to build on the N54 uh, serial number 6759. Um, we're up to the point where we are ready to install the chain module. But before we go ahead and do that, we have to assemble the chain module. Now, um, we're making a design change on the chain module for the hub. I'm putting an updated hub with updated uh, sprocket and grip disc, and I'll explain to you guys why I'm doing that. Let's go ahead and start with the old design, okay? So the old design, you guys can see here, you had a grip disc that attached to the inside and, and locked into the sprocket here on this side. And then you have the similar one like this with these tabs that goes into here and locks into onto this side. And the the grip disc had the friction material that allowed for when you torque it, uh, the friction material allows for the uh, grip and the, um, so you don't you don't have that uh, spinning motion when you torque that bolt. It's got a friction surface on here. Okay, uh, remember these engines doesn't have a keyway, doesn't have dowels, or dowels or Woodruff dowels or anything like that. It's just uh, is just held by the force of crushing everything together. So the grip disc helps to transfer that torque. Okay, so this is the old one, okay? This is the old hub. You guys can see on the old hub. So old hub, this is the camshaft sprocket, right? So this fits in here good. Then this one comes in here like this here right and this is how this is fit here now so that's the old one okay we're not we're not using this this is junk now we're updating it okay okay brand new hub from bmw The camshaft sprocket, camshaft sprocket is the same, hasn't changed. We're using a brand new updated uh, chain module sprocket, okay? This sprocket is what's driving the change. So right now you can take a look at the sprocket. It's got the diamond black encrusted friction material on there. And it's embedded and it's it's attached to the sprocket attached on both sides you guys can see that it's attached on both sides. this sprocket will not fit on your existing hub diameters the hub diameter is too large it won't it, it would not go in that's why you need to buy a new hub Okay, the new hub, brand new from BMW, the existing camshaft module sprocket will still work. This fits in here because you can see here, um, okay, side by side. 
you guys can take a look at them side 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 by side new hubs over here old ones over here you can see the change in diameters on the hub as they machined it okay so existing camshaft sprocket new new diamond encrusted chain module sprocket fits into there beautiful right okay so when we go ahead and we put this together we are also putting a brand new grind diamond encrusted friction disc right here okay this goes right here then this goes then this goes okay so you always have a friction material at each of the interface for your rotation connection once you put that bolt through and remember we're always using a brand new bolt put that bolt through and you torque that thing to yield you're crushing everything here all right so let's get to it um We're going to go ahead and assemble the chain module with the new sprocket and then we're going to install it. Um, if you guys want to see how a chain module is assembled, I'm going to put a link to a video. You guys check that out. Okay. All right. So we've gone ahead and assembled the chain module. We've got the brand new grip disc. With the sprocket brand new sprocket with the grip disc here and we've got a brand new retainer right here okay All right, so we've got the uh, chain module in, it's loose. We got the bolt in on all three, the triangle drive, that's loose. Align the oil pump gear to the oil pump. We've got the new hub, and it's got the new friction disc here. Use our new bolt. We have our camshaft chain drive. We install our vacuum pump, new gasket. Just have to align the tabs, two tabs right here.
Okay, so we've gotten all the components in. Oil pump, chain module, hub, crankshaft, uh, camshaft uh, module, and vacuum pump. Everything is loose. So now we're going to start and tighten everything down, starting with the chain module. All right, so this is all done right now. You guys can see vacuum pumps installed. The vacuum pump is torqued along with the uh, gear for the vacuum pump. Vacuum um, oil pump gear has been torqued. 20 Newton meter plus 45 degrees. Triangle bolts have been torqued. Next thing we're gonna do the initial torque on the hub. Install the vacuum pump cover and install the oil pan. Okay?